السلام علیکم میں آج موجود ہوں یو کے آئی ایم عالم راک سینٹر کے باہر جہاں وزٹ مائی ماسک کے نام سے اوپن ڈے رکھا گیا ہے جہاں آج کون آنے والا ہے یہ اوپن ڈے کیوں رکھا گیا ہے اس کی کیا راز و مقاصد ہیں مہمانوں سے بھی بات کریں گے انسانیہ سے بھی بات کریں گے آئیے چلتے ہیں اندر اور جانتے ہیں اس اوپن ڈے کے حوالے سے السلام علیکم بردر سرفراز موسیٰ صاحب کمان ویلکم ویلکم ٹو علم راک اسلامک سنٹر آج ہمارا وزٹ مائی ماس کو رہا ہے آئیں آپ کو دکھاتے ہیں کیا کچھ ہم نے لوگوں کے لیے رکھا ہوا ہے اس میں ہم نے سٹال لگا رکھے ہیں ایکزیبیشنز ہیں اور ہمارے یہاں پر امام بیٹھے ہیں لوگوں کے سوالات کے جواب دینے کے لیے وفود آ رہے ہیں الحمدللہ اور بہت کچھ ہو رہا ہے سنٹر کے اندر السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ سرفراز بھائی ویلکم ماشاء اللہ جی الحمد للہ یہ ربیع الاول کا مہینہ ہے اور اس مہینے میں ہم نے ہماری مسجد کے اندر دو بہت اہم پروگرام ہو رہے ہیں پہلا پروگرام تو ہم نے نن مسلم کا رکھا ہے اور جو ٹائٹل ہے وزٹ مائی ماسک تو اس میں ہم ماشاء اللہ کافی نن مسلم جو آئے ہوئے ہیں ہم نے رکھا ہوا تھا پروگرام کے نن مسلم اور نن فیت والے سب ویلکم ہیں تو ماشاء اللہ انہوں نے سوالات بھی کیے ہیں ان کو جوابات بھی دیے گئے ہیں اور دوسرا جو اہم پروگرام ہے وہ اپنی یوتھ کے لیے ہے دعویٰ کے حوالے سے اور آپ سب کو معلوم ہے کہ یہ ربی اللہ کا مہینہ ہے تو ڈاکٹر سبیل احمد خصوصی طور پر امریکہ سے تشریف لا رہے ہیں تو وہ دا دعویٰ اور نبی صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کے سیرت کے حوالے سے اس ربی الاول کے مہینے میں خطاب فرمائیں گے خواتین اور نوجوان بچیوں کے لیے خصوصی سٹالز لگائے گئے ہیں جہاں انہیں ثقاف پردے اور دیگر اسلامک لٹریچر کے متعلق خصوصی معلومات فراہم کی جا رہی ہیں اسلام growing up in islam so yeah um you can get these books from um, yeah and i rock center uk i am come here and visit maybe okay next is we're going to be talking about the prophet so we the book um, of the prophet yeah so we have muhammad peace be upon him and yeah. he, he was the last prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was the last messenger of allah and after him there was no messengers after the first messenger was adam alayhi salam and uh, he is our father to us in islam yeah. So um it says uh, one of these book did Jesus predict coming of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam Jesus is what Christian people say but in Islam his name is Isa alayhi salam So yeah um Christian people believe that Jesus um died in a cross but we believe that Isa alayhi salam will come back to life and fight the jihad that's what we believe and these are some of the books the message to mankind What the Prophet Muhammad said about virtue, hadiths, there's hadiths and du'as, is um, what the what Prophet, Prophet Muhammad, Muhammad said. Salim. This is the footsteps of what Prophet Muhammad did, we have to follow. Um, service to humanity, Prophet of mercy, what the Prophet Muhammad said about neighbors, and what the Prophet Muhammad said about family, and what the Prophet Muhammad said about animal welfare and the and environment. Me. Okay. Next, we have uh, our madrasa so you have a form here where you can enter our madrasa. We have our timetables what we do. We have um a qaida, we have um a sura book over here. We have um a hadith and dua book here. We have our form again and we just have like colors and stuff and we have Islamic studies. These are for students who come here like us. We come here to learn Monday to Friday and we, there's other type of levels like there's high level, the, I think the biggest level is level 6 and then just talks about prophets and what we do in Islam, what, what we learn about Islam and that. Next is the masjid. So this is the Alamark Center timetable. This is what we do as a community, not yeah. just us. We pray at this time. All that. We have a Quran um, um, that we read and um, we pray. We have a prayer mat. Yeah, we so pray yeah. here. And this is a tasbih. You do that after you pray. Um, this is a muskat. This is what men's wear. Women's are wear this. Women's wear scarves, which we just showed. Um, salah. Salah is basically... What we, what we do and what yeah. we pray. How, we, how, how God we forgives us. 
how God how forgives us. How to get closer to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Um, so these are some of the books: the Book of Prayers, the children books of Salah. So children, so like these are for adults, but children, if your children would like to read this book, they could get it from Amsons, anywhere, Alamak Center, anywhere. UK, I am Madrasa. Hajjel, anywhere. Family life in Islam, the rights of parents and children. So this one's about respect, respecting your parents. And um, this is the Quran translation. Because sometimes you, you don't want to read the Quran and then you don't know what it means. You would like to know what it means, the further of it. Next, we have zakat. So this is um, what we do what we when we give money away to the homeless people. Like in Morocco right now, they're suffering from an earthquake. So we're giving money uh, to them. So it says here twenty five pounds for um if you would like to donate the money for family hygiene, um emergency service survival pack, cooked hot meals. We have what is zakat? Zakat is um uh, one of the five uh, pillars of Islam. Zakat um is when we give money to the homeless people that need it. Hajj is when we go to Saudi Arabia and we go to Mecca or Medina. And we pray and we do lots of stuff there. We pray there. We do our eight we movements around, um, around the Kaaba, the holy building. And this is where we do charity. Where we our donation box. And donations. And donation yeah. box. So we would really like if you guys would come here and donate for us. Next. Then next we have Ramadan. So in Ramadan is our holy month and this is how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives us. We have dates over here, we have fasting. It tell, this, these books tell you about um, fasting in Islam. You can get these from UK, I am Madrasa, our Madrasa. We have Psalm, we have Ramadan handbooks. This helps you in Ramadan. We can't drink water in Ramadan. We can't have any food or anything. At a certain time we break our fast. We have zikr um, and we have a prayer mat. This is where we pray. This is when we pray in the holy month of Ramadan, not just in the month of Ramadan, but in any other month as well. We when, pray. When she said no drinking and water, uh, uh, drinking and eating, it means that we're fasting and that we we fast our, from our soul gets purified yeah, and cleansed. Our soul gets purified and cleansed. But we fast until the morning. But, but like we there's a dawn until sunrise. Suhoor, and we eat until fajr. So after Fajr, your fasting starts. Then when it comes to Maghrib, we break our fast and we eat. And we share to our family and, and all that meat and all that. Next is... We have what we just have in the madrasa. Yeah, uh, this do. is just helping you convert to Islam. Um, we have messages to mankind, the glorious Quran. We have what is Shahada. Shahada is um, our faith. And when you accept Islam, you must repeat. You must say the Shahada. So um, you're, you're a Muslim. This book um, is our wake up call, so we like know when to convert into Islam. We have our English translation books over here. Like she said before, we don't want to read the Arabic and not know what it means. We want to know what it means, and um, yeah, we have um, what the Prophet Muhammad says. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said about family, neighbors, and our environment. We must take care about. We must care about our environment in the masjid and take care of it, like no littering. So, what we want to say is, um, some people might say Muslims are terrorists and they do bad things, but we're not terrorists, we're respectful. In what we follow is we have to be respectful, we have to respect other people's religions, we, we're not terrorists, don't believe what people say, we're not terrorists. We're actually you have to compete for yourself. People can't, we can't say anything about other people's religions. If they want, they can judge about religions. We don't really care what they say. Because what we, what we know, what we follow is Allah SWT. And in the Quran, it says respect people's religion. Respect whoever, whoever is rude to you, just respect them. Just, is, Islam is about being kind. Just get over it. And all that. So like, we're not terrorists. We're not, we're not. And today, today in the masjid, we have um our annual year. So we do this every year. We have our open day where all Romanians and different religions just come to our mosque and just like we talk, we tell them what Islam is and inshallah they convert into Islam after that inshallah you convert into Islam thank you for listening to us سنٹر انظامیہ نے مامانوں کی طرف سے اٹھائے جانے والے سوالات کے جوابات خود بھی دیئے because 
if he's only got like say two breaks and he's there for yeah. 12 hours see the thing is that it's it's about working around it mm -hmm. our religion is not a religion of force mm -hmm. there's no force in our religion mm -hmm. okay um if you're a paramedic mm -hmm. or if you're a police officer yeah, yeah. okay so try my prayer but there's somebody that needs help urgently yeah, yeah. okay you have to do your job okay mm -hmm. but what you can do is you can work around it for example there's some brothers and some sisters um that the last permission if they don't get permission they will do it's we call it kazar so kazar means you can read that prayer at a later time yeah okay, okay? when you, when you yeah. get time combine yeah. as well. okay yeah. and that's how um the brothers and sisters will, will, will <laughs> work around that mm -hmm. okay um जहां जरूरत पड़ी ब्रीफिंग के लिए स्कॉलर्स की मदद भी ली गई एक फ्राइडे इज द डे ही कंप्लीटेड द क्रिएशन फ्राइडे इज द डे ही क्रिएटेड आदम एंड सो फ्राइडे वी से इज द चोजन डे फॉर मुस्लिम्स टू सेलिब्रेट एंड हैव इट एज अ जॉयस ओकेजन एंड समटाइम्स यू नो रीजंस एज टू व्हाई अल्लाह और गॉड डिसाइड्स सर्टेन डेज आर मोर वर्चुअस देन अदर्स is simply for us to fulfill those days and for us to simply fulfill his commands so it is not for us to say what is the reason for this and what is the reason for that because we can never fully as human beings we can never fully comprehend the reasons of the creator yeah right we our job is to simply fulfill uh, the commands and obligations set by the creator upon us yeah, yeah? I, was, i was just wondering because like i said like, yeah. obviously when you know certain people yes they Muslims then Friday like they pray there yeah and yeah they you know if they can they pick work around that yeah you know what I mean so of course yeah yeah prayers and what have you yeah um yeah so that's all I was just wondering if yeah. it was uh, but I hope uh, the answer was sufficient yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 alhamdulillah तुर्क कहावत के मुताबिक अगर आपको मसाजिद की पिछली सफ़ों में बच्चों के खेल कूद की आवाज़ें ना आएँ तो आपको अपनी अगली नस्लों के इस्लाम के बारे में फ़िक्रमंद होना चाहिए मास्क ओपन डे गया बच्चा पार्टी के लिए ईद मिलन पार्टी है वक्फे वक्फे से गैर मुसलम वफूद की आमद का सिलसिला जारी है जो इनफरादी मुलाकातों और लिटरेचर में खसूस दिलचस्पी ले रहे हैं जिससे उन्हें इस्लाम मसाजद और मुसलमानों के मुतल खसूस मालूम फ्राहम की जा रही है सफाई निसफ ईमान है सेंटर की सफाई सुथराई वक्फे वक्फे से जारी है जो भी मोज़ मेहमान आता है उसके लिए फ्रेश समोसे पकोड़े जूसेस और चाय का अहतमाम किया जाता है वाले सर फसाज भाई ये हमारी लाइब्रेरी है और इसमें इस्लामिक लिटरेचर है सब के लिए मुस्लिम गैर मुस्लिम के लिए और खसूस हमने गैर मुस्लिम के लिए इसको ओपन किया है वो हमारी मस्जिद में विजिट करने आ रहे हैं और उनके लिए तमाम बुक्स इधर मौजूद हैं जो भी वो यानी कि हासिल करना चाहें या बुक को रीड करना चाहें और आज हमने इसको उनके लिए वैसे खाने वगैरह का इंतजाम भी इधर ही किया हुआ है ठीक हो गया ये कुछ बैठे हुए भी हैं हाँ ये हमारे को हाँ सुबह से हाँ जी एक एक बजे से हमारे मेहमान इधर आ रहे हैं शाम तक पाँच बजे तक अच्छा और भी आएंगे अच्छा अच्छा काफी कितने बजे शुरू हुआ था ये एक बजे प्रोग्राम हमारा शुरू है तो जाते रहे जाते हाँ जी हाँ जी तो क्या क्या उनको एक तो ब्रीफिंग वगैरह दी बिल्कुल इस्लाम के बारे में बिल्कुल और फ्रेशमेंट का हाँ जी बिल्कुल हाँ जी जो उनको रिफ्रेशमेंट भी है हाँ जी ये पूरा एक लिटरेचर का हाँ जी ये हमारी लाइब्रेरी है हाँ जी हाँ जी जो भी वो पढ़ना चाहे हाँ जी बिल्कुल सवाल जवाब भी बिल्कुल हाँ जी उनके सवालों को जवाब भी दिए जाए ओके अस्सलाम यूके इस्लामिक मिशन आलम हक सेंटर में नमाजियों की जरूरियात को पूरा करने के लिए वजू खानों और तारत खानों का वसी और साफ सुथरा और माकूल इंतजाम मौजूद है यह रबी अलवल का बाबरकत महीना है और रबी अलवल की बात हो तो सीरत तयबा सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम के मतलब बात ना हो ये मुमकिन नहीं सेंटर में आज एक नशस्त का अहतमाम किया गया है जिसमें मरूफ अमरीकी नौजवान इस्लामिक स्कॉलर डॉक्टर सबील अहमद शरीक हुए हैं उन्होंने सीरत तयबा से दावत हक दावत दीन का मौजू मंतब किया है जिस पर ब्रीफिंग भी दी है और हाजरीन के सवालों के जवाब भी दिए हैं last but not the least and this is i think one of the most important we need to create contents for our children you know when it 
if you go to amazon.com you will see literally thousands and thousands of books pro lgbt books for the children in different languages we have zero we have zero so alhamdulillah right? we have the resources we need to create content and the videos and the books and the brochures about islamic side about this topic to empower the muslims and to give confidence to the muslims and to share the message with the non muslims so just the good news are all right the good news is that uh, 21st of august uh, so the night before i came here uh, dr adil night before i came here my very first book about lgbt and the muslim children it came out alhamdulillah so it's a children's book about a 7 year old girl a muslim girl wearing the hijab how she introduces this topic to her friends and non muslim friends right so it's on amazon.com if you want to you know go there and uh, benefit from it so सेंटर का विजिट करने वाले गैर मुस्लिम मेहमानों का आज का ये तजर्बा कैसा रहा आइए सुनते हैं उन्हीं की जबानी Um yeah that's about it really had you have any like you know questions and you ask them and uh, yeah i had a few questions and uh they answered the questions um and explained why they do certain things on certain days um yeah it's very how yeah. was it uh, useful for you what was your uh, like you know perceptions about islam about mosque about muslim community and what you have learned well it's to be fair it's it's quite open friendly um so it doesn't matter what you believe like you say it's you have an open mind and then maybe you might learn something all right okay thank okay. you okay thank you very much nice talking to you thank you okay. okay hello mate you okay yeah i'm okay thank you uh, from where you are coming up um i'm damien um i'm from poland i'm living not too far on rock road and yeah i'm just coming from mosque um yeah really like it um i said i came with my friend on the way i said i feel stressy but while it was not necessary everyone was friendly nice and welcome me and really helpful with explain everything what you have uh, in your hands um the quran um in english version and couple of the books so far all time table yeah. and also the Literally times of praise uh, these yeah now i can check is it, is it first time you visited any mosque or oh, yeah this is first like time i'm um, in mosque never was before uh, yeah. how was uh, your experience today yeah yeah really nice yeah how i said i was stressy before but that was no necessary everyone was friendly and very welcome me so you like it yeah i like it definitely i will back nice yeah, to meet we'll you back this year inshallah we'll be coming back thank you thank yeah, you so much is is a good thank good you. guy you know he, uh, you know we met a few days ago mm. i know him for, for some time mm. but uh, we were talking uh, you know while we were traveling and he, he said to me you know brother uh, you know i think i'm missing something in life mm. you know and i told him about uh, today you know uh, open day at our mosque I said uh, are you willing to come and find out uh, about Islam and he said uh, surely you know I will come with you Ho- hopefully and it will be a great yeah. experience for you yes yeah yeah and it was it was God, God yeah. bless you and have yeah. a good day thank you thank, thank, thank you. you so much thank you very much yes please hello good afternoon my name is Paul I come from Dublin in Ireland but I currently live in Birmingham this past two odd years and such um as a christian i never really knew anything about the mosque other than the outside side of the door but having come in today like i found it to be quite pleasant uh quite interesting very very friendly most hospitable ever so friendly and i've had a very pleasant time for the past 45 minutes that i've been here i've asked a couple of t- uh, things about my own religion and their religion and such and i've got the information that i really need it and i'm happy to go away with that so and you never know i might see you one day again in the future okay sir all right my name is abdul rahman and i became muslim roughly three and a half years ago i i live about 25 minutes walk away from there and i often walk to the mosque it's um 
I live in the suburb of Mosley, Birmingham. Uh, occasionally come to this mosque here in Ludlow Road because my friend Razak Aziz lives nearby and also has a shop in Alam Rock Road. So sometimes I accompany him when he comes here. Okay. Please tell us your story. How you Why did I become Muslim? I, so, well, I had Muslim friends, but that wasn't the main reason. The real reason was because I was searching for some kind of um, meaning in my life and I found that there, there was a lot of depth and truth in the Quran and also beauty because if it's recited nicely it can be very beautiful and moving in a way re reciting prayers in English isn't <laughs> and also through poetry through Sufi poetry um, I don't know if, if it, not all Muslims would agree with that but I find that very rewarding. I mean, I've read in translation Rumi, I've read in translation Iqbal, for example, and I find them ex in inspiring. So, um, I found since I became Muslim, I have a sense, um, I feel centered. So that gives a kind of balance to my life, which I lacked before. I come from a non-religious background. My parents weren't practicing Christians, um, although my father had a spiritual nature. He used to write poetry, and he was interested in those kind of uh, artistic and uh, spiritual matters. But we didn't go to church. Uh, like most English people, we're not religious anymore. It's a secular society. Um, I did explore Christianity with some uh, Christian friends, but it didn't have any meaning for me. Although I'm still friendly with the, I friend, I'm still friendly with them, but I don't go to. I've never. I don't. I don't feel comfortable in church. But I, I don't believe what they say. Basically, although a lot of them are very nice people. So, um, but I've met a lot of very nice people in. Um, in the Muslim community as well, particularly the people I know best, which are people at this central mosque. Um, I've got a very nice teacher who is uh, teaching me Quranic Arabic. He's a gentleman from uh, Sudan and he's lived in this country for several years now and he's very good English. He's a very kind, very friendly, very patient. <laughs> So uh, I'm really happy to be to be Muslim. So um, uh, what would you say about today's visit to mosque? I just knew I, there was an open day. Uh, my friend Razak, who attends this mosque, told me about it, and also the Imam um, told me as well. I actually met him by chance this week in a supermarket and he said oh has your friend Razak told you about that open day please come along and I asked him what time it was and he said from I think he said from 10 till 7 p.m. from 10 in the morning to 7 in the evening so I thought well I'll go along and show my face so here I am sitting being interviewed by a very nice gentleman <laughs> Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alam Rak Islamic Center ne aaj 23rd ko visit my mosque ek event rakhe jisme non-Muslim, other faith, no faith, yani atheist koi bhi jo banda hai, wo yahan par aa sakta hai. Haman hamne apni local community aur wider community, har kisi community ko apne jo namazi hai unke through sabko daawat di thi aur alhamdulillah. जो लोग हैं उन्होंने एज अ वॉलेंटियर भी यहां पार्टिसिपेट किया और वो लोगों को लेके भी आ रहे हैं लोग विजिट कर रहे हैं वो फूड आ रहे हैं और लोग हैप्पी हैं यहां مختلف قسم के हमने स्टॉल लगा रखे हैं जिसमें पांच अरकान इस्लाम हैं इसके अलावा इमाम की जगह है मस्जिद का क्या किरदार है हमारी कम्युनिटी के अंदर और हम नए आने वाले लोगों को कैसे वेलकम करते हैं और जब लोग यहां से जा रहे होते हैं तो उनके लिए हमने दो खास स्टॉल लगा रखे हैं एक फूड का है ताकि वो रिफ्रेशमेंट कर लें हमारे साथ बैठ के थोड़े अच्छे मूड में गपशप भी करें और खाना भी खाएं और दूसरा यह कि उनको जाते हुए हम एक खूबसूरत सा गिफ्ट देते हैं जिसमें अल्लाह की किताब उसकी ट्रांसलेशन होती है और
یو کے اسلامک مشن کے عالم راک سینٹر میں وزٹ مئی ماسک کے اوپن ڈے کے اس خوبصورت اور مصروف ترین دن کے اختتام پر انسانیہ کی جانب سے رضاکاروں اور مہمانوں کے لیے وسیع کھانے کا انتظام کیا گیا تھا وزٹ مئی ماسک کے اوپن ڈے میں یو کے اسلامک مشن کے صدر ڈاکٹر عماد لودی سابق صدر مولانا سرفراز مدنی مڈ لینڈ زون کے ناظم حسین اصغر مڈ لینڈ زون دعویٰ انچارج عدیل ریاض اور دیگر بھی شریک ہوئے اور انہوں نے سینٹر انتظامیہ کو بہترین پروگرام منعقد کرنے پر خراج تحسین پیش کیا بلا شبہ اپنی نوعیت کا یہ ایک منفرد اور کامیاب پروگرام تھا جس کے لیے انتظامیہ مبارکباد کی مستحق ہے برطانیہ بار میں قائم مساجد اسلامک سینٹر اور پیر خانے جہاں روایتی عبادات کے ساتھ ساتھ اپنی زیادہ تر توانائیاں چیریٹیز کے کلیکشن میں صرف کر دیتے ہیں وہاں ضرورت اس امر کی ہے کہ وزٹ مائی ماسک کے اوپن ڈے جیسے پروگرامات منعقد کر کے نہ صرف غیر مسلموں کو اسلام کی تعلیمات کے ساتھ روشناس کرایا جائے بلکہ اپنی نسلوں کو بھی اسلام قرآن اور مساجد کے ساتھ وابستہ کیا جائے مجھے دیجیے اجازت پھر کسی پروگرام کے ساتھ جلد ملاقات ہوگی تب تک کے لیے اللہ نے کے